A church in Omaha has dealt with stolen catalytic converters for the past 10 years. Once a year, every year, the church director told me. Although they didn't want to go on camera, they said just this month, two of their vans have been hit. Efforts to stop these thefts in the Omaha area and in Nebraska are ongoing. We want to get this to zero, but it's it's hard to do, but we're not we're just sitting back and saying, hey, we've done great, we're done working on this. We're gonna continue that, and that's through the lobbying efforts in Lincoln with uh, several of our partners down there. In March, the city council passed an ordinance that requires a permit to resell catalytic converters. It also requires payments to be made by check, not cash. City officials hoped it would legitimize metal recyclers and reduce thefts by adding fines or jail time for noncompliance. And talking on the public safety committee that I'm on recently, they said it really has made a huge difference and it's it's been effective in combating the catalytic converter thefts that we've seen here in the last couple of years. The church in Omaha that had its converters stolen again recently is in Councilman Begley's district. He says this is more reason to increase penalties for thefts and put requirements on metal recycler dealers statewide, not just one city. As you've heard from people in your story, it hasn't ended the problem completely. So by going to the next level, which is the state, to try to put tighter restrictions on, to try to help the overall goal is to eliminate these, but to give more tools to law enforcement to curtail or eliminate these thefts completely. And when I spoke with Omaha police, they said that these thefts persist. Some of the tips they gave to protect your cars include parking in well-lit areas, installing surveillance cameras, and spraying high temp paint on your converters. On your side, in Omaha, Bella Karakta, 6 News. Thank you, Bella. The state legislature will convene next in a couple of weeks, and that's where city lobby efforts will try to work with senators to get this expanded statewide.